All right, welcome back to Perdido Key Gaming. Today we've got some more uh, Magic the Gathering. On this case, uh, this is a pre-release pack I got online. Now, I've never really done one of these before, but it fairly cheap off of uh, what you call it. Um, oh, where did I get? It? I can't remember. Sheesh. Anyway, Theros Beyond Death. These pre-release kits have uh, a couple of doohickeys in here. We got uh, six boosters, a pre-release promo, a spin-down counter. Let's see. So for Theros, we're still looking for... Uh, the gods! Spin down a box, I guess you could use for something. A discover Taros, some sort of code Archon of Sun's Grace. So, these things, uh, you know, they, they're a pre release, so they get. Uh, you know, a little date stamp on it and things like that. In this case, Archon of Sons of Grace. Oh, there's you know, separator. Yeah, I guess you could use it as a deck box of some sort. Theros, yeah, unfortunately, you know, as with the original Theros block, you know, there's some valuable cards, just not much going on. So, Sentinel's Eyes, the Turtle, Stampede Rider, Skull of Grove Dancer. Now, I've noticed something with these. These seem to have a different texture to them. So, are they a special? Anax, Acolyte of Affliction, Eutropia, the Twice Favored, and Arasta. The Endless Web. A foily full art land, a regular full art land. In a sarcastic, I mean, satyr. Yeah, this. So, anyway, yeah, unfortunately, Theros Beyond Death didn't, you know, it's nice to have some of the, en lots of the enchantments, and I know a lot of people are, uh, Definitely going in full bird on that uh, enchantment stuff. It's always fun. Warden of the Chain, Iliad's Punishment, and the games. No table required. So yeah, I guess these pre-release, uh, you can buy these during pre-release thing at your local game store, which obviously is always fun, you know. Go to the pre-release, pick up a kit, um, you know, take somebody who's never done Magic the Gathering before and, you know, get them introduced. And the Temple of a Buck. Elemental token. So otherwise, yeah, it's just like a small bundle, I guess, that's... Basically, I guess what you call, I don't know what they sell them at the local game store. I don't know what they sell them for when you get there, you know, on release date, but maybe, you know, 30 bucks. What? Don Evangel, Ferrica Spawn, The Prophecy, and Grave Breaker Lamia. Soldier Token. Life Link, when she enters the battlefield, search your... Library for a card, put it into your graveyard and shuffle your library. Spells you cost cash from your graveyard, cost one less. Lennon, enchantment, enchantment, fruit of Tazurus, return to nature. I kind of like this uh, two drop here for green decks. You got one of your choose ones, target artifact, target enchantment, or exile. Especially if you're uh, running into those guys running white. 
and they're doing pacifism all over you. Nice to get rid of that. Another short video here with this pre-release uh, kit. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's much going on um, with this particular one. Dream Trawler and a Devourer of Memory. Full Art Mountain and a wall. That's for your uh, one saga that generates those walls. Flying Lifelink. Whenever you draw a card, he gets plus one, plus zero. Anyway, yeah, that's about it um, for Pharaohs Beyond Death, the pre-release kit um, that you can get from your local game store when a new set comes out. Um, but that's about it. I mean, not, not much going on in this particular one. Uh, unlike the, uh, supposed, uh, urban legend that the, there's better draws in those. But anyway, that's all I got for today. If you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow for some more Perdido Key Gaming.